Shalom, call like Yahweh Bashim, I was shot by Hashem Rahakwadash. Double honor to the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace, love, and salutations to the whole field elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in our true sincerity and diligence for the sake of Yahweh Bashim, I was Lord, when this lets me be edifying and straight to the point. All right, and it just ran across this article. You know, the Lord just put a few scriptures on my spirit that says, Theologian warns the danger of artificial intelligence attempting to replace the Most High. And also, that's just Esau, man, using his technology to boast himself in being the Lord, man, being the Most High. You see? He said, as technology continues to advance at a rapid pace, it threatens to eclipse society, reverence, and worship of God, man. And ultimately, that word eclipse, you know, goes into blotting out, blocking, covering, obscuring, hiding, counseling, villain, you know, and darkening, man. Ultimately, that's what this devil is trying to do, man. That's why you got YouTube guidelines, censors. Ultimately, this devil is trying to censor out the truth, man. You know, which is how about Shemai was shot, warned us that a family of the word was coming, you know. And, you know, you got other articles where this devil saying that the Bible is hate speech, man. You know, so this in, in all, you know, this devil wants to set himself up to be the most high. You see? Um, let's skip down. Uh, let's see, let's just skip down right here and just read from here on down. It says, the human heart was made by the most high for the most high and only the most high can feel it, you see? So this devil is going to try to make that void by trying to give you the carnal things of this life to fill your heart with, which they, it ultimately goes back to the lust of the flesh. You see, when you fill yourself up with the lust of the flesh, ultimately the love of the Father is void in you. All right, let's keep reading. He say, uh, read again. He said, the human, the human heart was made by the Most High for the Most High, and only the Most High can fill it. And if we don't fill it with the Most High, we, uh, we fill it, with what, uh, whatever else we could find and what that thing you find other than the Lord, man, it'll be the lust of the flesh, man. You know, you going after the, the, the pleasures of this uh, of this world, man, which ultimately the things of this world is going to come to an end, man. And, you know, you as well. You see, let's go here. Um, second John, it's like it. First John chapter 2 and verse 15, he say, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loveth, uh, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. You see, but he that doeth the will of the most high abide forever you see so if you if you going after the affairs of this life or this world if you feel with the devices of the so-called white man where you just you waiting on 2k22 to come out you know or uh, you looking forward to closing on a house or starting a new job and your 401k your 10-year plan well ultimately you going after the affairs of this life and when those things pass away you're going to pass well along with it because you're not filled with the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shah. You see, if America has to be around for your dreams and aspirations to come true, well, you're going to be destroyed along with America because you join hand in hand with this place, man. You know, and that's just going back to the article. It say if we if we don't feel so like if we don't feel it with the most high, we feel it with what so uh, with whatever else we can find man and that'll be the things of this world which this article also say that's uh that's what all idolatry is about and that's ultimately what you fall to man you start to idolize the things of this world you get you a nice car now you you get a sense of pride in you because you driving a nice car you see and that's awesome because you that you you caught up in the cares of this life you get you some money now you boast yourself and the pride of your of your you know or your money, man. Or how much money you got? You know, you boasting you having money. You know, nigga, I got money. You know, money ain't nothing. Money not a problem. You see, well, now you just, you know, you just been. Matter of fact, uh, let's go here real quick. Uh, Sirach chapter thirteen, verse one. He said, "He that toucheth pitch shall be defiled therewith, and he 
that has fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him, you see? So once you fall for the cares of this life, you become as that you know, you become as the motherfuckers of this world, man. You become as the world, man. You know? And ultimately you become as Esau. You see, because that's that's the the, the powers that be in this in this current life, man. You know, the so called white man. You see? So when you you know, you caring after the, the affairs of this life, ultimately you going after the ways of the so-called white man, which is going to lead to your death, man. You see, it's going to lead to your destruction because it's, ultimately it's not, it's not of your how about Shem I was shot. All right, um, go back to the article. It's like you. It says, um, read again, it said, the human heart was made by the most high for the most high and only the most high can feel it. You see, if we don't feel it with the most high, we feel it with uh, whatever else we can find. That's our, uh, that's what our idolatry is about. The idolatry of the future is going to be the worship of these uh, merchants. Um, it's like it, of these machines, which has already started either tongue in cheek or some people literally and very seriously worship the works of their hands. You see, let's go here. Second uh, Timothy, I believe. Chapter, yeah, Second Timothy 3 and verse 2. He said, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good, uh, traitors, Heady, high-minded, you see, being proudful, uh, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high. And you see, and ultimately, that's what you, that's the nature of these so-called Americans here today. You see, these these uh, Americans are already set up for the taking, man. All Esau got to do is present his son out of them, and they going to fall right into the hands of the devil, man. You know, but how about Shemiah Shah said that we not ignorant of saints' devices, man. And ultimately, the elect, you know, is those... Who gonna see this devil in his snares? You see? Because only the elect understand and know that this this nigga right here is the wicked, man. The so-called white man is the wicked. That's the one who professed himself to be the most high. You see, this uh second Thessalonians 2 and verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that they should not come, except they'll come a falling away first. And that man of sin. Be revealed, and that man of sin is the so-called white man. Going back to the book of Malachi, you see, that's the man of sin that's been revealed here in the last days, and he's been revealed by his works. You see, that old serpent, this nigga still playing the same playbook. You see, the son of perdition, he said, who opposes it and exalt himself, who opposes it and exalt himself above all that is called God or that is worshiped. So that he, as the Most High, sit in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is God, man. And nobody do it, uh, nobody does that but the so-called white man. Who covered the faces of the judges, man? You know, the so-called white man did, man. You know, who set himself up to be the Most High, man? The so-called white man, by way of his artificial intelligence. He's trying to blot out the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of Yahweh by Shemiah Rasha, so that he may be set up in his steed, man. You know? Um, let's see. Shall we? Uh, let's see. I kind of wanted to get some. Go with you. Hey, we just gonna stop it right there. Right, let's go here real quick. Oh, this is the book of Isaiah 14 and verse 14. He said, I would have sinned. Matter of fact, we're gonna start at verse uh We're gonna start at verse 13. He said, For for thou hast said, matter of fact, start at verse 12. It's gonna get to the point. He said, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? And Lucifer just mean the bearer of light, man. And that's the so-called white man. You see, 
he is uh, Lucifer, Luciferians, man. He says, son of son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did is weaken the nations? You see, for thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the most high. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. You see? Yet shall yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the size of the pit. So ultimately, how about Shemal Shah is gonna take this nigga down, man? You know, but only the so-called white man is boasting himself to be the most high, man. You know, and he come with all sorts of snares, man, which his ultimate snare is gonna be trying to put that 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 MOTB in you, man. You know. He trying to put the MOTB in you, man. That's ultimately that's him trying to exalt himself. To be the most high. You see? So that you will worship him. And you will worship his beast system, man. You know? But yeah, man. I just wanted to uh, touch on that, man. Lord willing, it was edifying through the spirit. Power Yahweh Shemai was shot, Lord willing. Until next time, say shalom to the elect. And the Baba Baal.